Let me show you something, brother. I see you got the Arabic on your wrist. I'm gonna let me show you something. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. The Bible said what? Ye are God. The Bible says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. That's what the Bible says. That's right. What makes us gods, brother? You think that's Hebrew? That's fine. You think that's Hebrew. What makes us gods? Go, give me Romans chapter uh, 7. I'm going to show you what makes us gods. Matter of fact, read on where you was at in Psalms so we can get the whole thought. I'm going to show you what makes us gods. He say he heard of the Israelites. He don't know too much about it. I got you, brother. It's a beautiful thing for you to be standing right here. That's right. right. Watch this. Come on. I know you used to your brothers hating you and you hate your brothers back. I love to see my people, That's especially right. stand before the Most High God. Watch right. this. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. This is the Bible. God said, God said, I already told y'all y'all gods. Y'all, I already told y'all y'all gods. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. So how are we gods? Because we the Most High God's children. Right. That's real. That's not an opinion. That's not something that if we choose to believe it, that's what it. No, we are. He will destroy us if we don't come to that acknowledgement. Right. But that don't change the fact that we are God's children. We just acting out. We just being disobedient. You understand that? Watch this. Now go to Romans. I'm gonna show you what make. Go to hope. Yeah, hold that because we got to make the, the thought full. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Then go to Romans. Watch this. How are we gods? Because we the most high God's children. We're just like you got children, right? You got children, yeah? You ain't got no kids? Well, I got kids. And you got parents, right? What did your parents do for you as a child? What was the first thing that they did for you? Say it one more time. You didn't grow up with your parents? Your aunt, so that would be a parent. Parental just means somebody set over you, a leader, that's all. But I'm sorry to hear that, but that's a that's what happens to a lot of us. But what what did they set for you? Like you come into their house, there are what? Rules. There are rules because they're your parents, meaning they are your guide, they are your leadership. Right? So ain't no different than a most high God. If we his kids, did he not have rules for us? Did he not have a way for us to behave ourselves as his children? Yes. Watch this. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 For thou art in holy people This is the Most High God teaching us about ourselves Giving us an identity and a mindset God is teaching us you are holy people You are holy people Not a, not a hard people Not a rowdy people Not a wild people Not a tough people God said you are holy people Holy people Unto the Lord thy God uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. You know what? The, hold on. Let me go back. Read that. Read that first part again. Watch this. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord. Unto what? Unto the Lord. You know what that means? Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. That means you are supposed to be holy to him. A lot of times we only concern ourselves with what is right or what is holy to man. Or what is right or what is holy to the panties we trying to get in. Or what is right or what is holy or great to uh, the so-called uh, white man or these other nations that are above us in our, in our, in our uh, captivity here in America. God said that we are holy unto him. Unto him. So it will behoove us if we are his children to be gods. What does it mean to be holy to him? To him. Right? It will behoove us. Now let's get Romans. We're going to come back there, but let's get Romans. So let's find out if that's just my opinion. Let's find out if we've been taught wrong in these, in these churches all our lives. Let's, be, we're saying, let's say the law is done away with. Let's find out. Let's find out what makes us gods. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. The what? The law is holy. The what? The law is holy. Read. And the commandment, holy uh -huh. and just uh -huh. and good. So what the churches t teach us, what we've been taught our whole life about the commandments or the law. We've been, they've been done away. That's what the church, I don't either. But I know what they teach in it, right? I know what they teach in my people. I know what they teach my people. We got to know, we got to know what our people are afflicted with. We got to know our enemy. You understand what I'm saying to you, bro? You young, so you still got the strength. You got your strength in you. The most high needs you. Give me that too in Psalms, bro. 93. 
The Most High wants you to stand up for him. I'm going to show you that. But these churches teach us that the law is done away with. The law is done away with. So you know what it do to the minds of our people? The law say, thou shalt not kill. The law say, thou shalt not hate thy brother. The law says, thou shalt not steal. The law says, thou shalt not rape. The law says, thou shalt not covet, meaning want your brother's, uh, what belongs to your brother. The, the Bible says, thou shalt not commit, the law said, thou shalt not commit adultery, meaning lay with another man's wife. But what we got up in our songs, kill a nigga, do drugs, which is hatred, and Mr. Steal Your Girl, which is adultery, covetousness, uh, breaking every commandment that God said. That's what, that's, what, that's what we have as our knowledge, as a race of people. That's what we got. That's what we live by, these dumb, simple-minded ass songs. That's what we got. You understand that? Come on. Watch this. Watch this. Listen carefully. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? This is the Most High God of all his children, of all his strong and mighty, powerful black children. He says, who will rise up for me? You know what that mean? Who gonna stand up and watch all these people come out of these lying establishments, watch all these brothers on the corner selling dope? Who gonna say, hey, stop selling drugs to yourselves? That's right. right. That is wickedness. That is foolishness. Right. You are only making your enemies stronger right. in doing it. Right. You're not escaping by doing that. You're not getting yourself up out of the ghettos or your children up out of the ghettos doing that. You only see that in movies. Nobody can testify to that in real life. Right. No. You will only end up dead or in jail, which makes your enemies richer, which makes your enemies' children go to school, go to college, live, live wealthy for many generations off you black selling drugs to each other. That's right. right. That's all it'll do. We understand you need answers on what, what must be done to live, to have life then. We understand that. But that's where it starts. Stop hating yourself. Stop killing yourself. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.